solving problem involving ellipse. A tunnel has a shape of a semi-ellipse that is 15 high from the center and 36 feet across the base. At most, how high should the passing track be if it is 12 feet wide for it to be able to fit through the tunnel? As you can see, this is an example of a tunnel. Okay. Then if we're going to graph it in our Cartesian plane, we're going to have this one. So this is a semi-ellipse. Here, it is 15 feet high from the center. This is our center and 15 feet high. So our graph, the scale of our graph is by 2. So 1 is to 2. So the count of 1 is 2. Then the wide of our um, tunnel is 16 feet across the base. Okay? So from the center going to this point, that is 18. So we have 18, 0. Then to the other side, we have negative 18, 0. And suppose that the tunnel is one way and the track is passing through the center of our tunnel. So this is our track. So this track is 16 feet. Then from the center going to this point, this is 6. And another point, this is also 6. Then as you can see, we have the intersection here. So how high? This coordinate is 6y. Because we do not have the height of our track. That is what uh, we are finding. At most, what will be the height of the track for it to be able to pass through the tunnel. So we're going to have our equation of the ellipse. Since the major axis is horizontal. So this is our equation. x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. Then substitute the values from the center going to this point. This is our A. So this is 18. Then from the center going to this point, this is 15. That is our B. Then we have the values of, or we have the value of X, which is 6. Okay, because this point is passing through the ellipse. Okay, or the, our ellipse passing through this point. So we can also use this point. This is negative 6Y. So one of them we can use to substitute. So the only value that we can substitute is the value of x, which is 6 or negative 6. So by substitution, we have 6 squared. So I used the positive side. Then a is 18. So 6 squared over 18 squared equals, no, plus y squared over 15 squared equals 1. Then simplify, 6 squared is 36, 18 squared is 324, and plus y squared over 15 squared is 225, equals 1. Then 36 over 324 are both divisible by 36. So we have 1 over 9, plus y squared over 225 equals 1. So our goal here is to find the value of y because that is the height of our track at most. So we have y squared over 225 equals 1 minus 1 over 9. So 1 over 9 is 8 over 9. Then isolate y squared. So we're going to multiply both sides by 225. So we are going to cancel 225. In our left side, then to the to the right side, we are going also to cancel because 225 can be divided to 9. So 225 divided by 9 is 25. So we have y squared equals 8 times 25. And y squared is equal to 200. Then find the value of y. y is equal to square root of 200 and that is 10 square root of 2 and approximately that is 14.14 .14 feet.
Therefore, the height of the track must be at most 14.14 feet for it to be able to pass through our tunnel.